Finally tonight, Britain's King Charles will be formally crowned Saturday at his coronation. And while he may be a new monarch, Charles already has a history of changing lives. Here's CBS's Charlie Daggett. To his legion of fans, elbow frontman Guy Garvey stands firmly in the realm of rock royalty. Performing at the Queen's Jubilee concert last year, the London Olympics. But it all began with a little help from this man. Sounds mythical, doesn't it? I the it king didn't... gave us monies <laughs> <It's> <laughs> to travel to a far off land. <laughs> The far off land was a recording studio in France and the penniless bandmates needed equipment. They turned to the Prince's Trust and were granted around $1,800 to get started. So it fundamentally changed your path. Completely. The Prince's Trust started small back in 1976, when then Prince Charles decided to put his Navy severance pay of roughly $9,000 toward reaching out to hard hit and predominantly minority communities. Britain was in the grip of rampant unemployment that gave way to rioting, fueled largely by disaffected and marginalized youths. He saw something that other people weren't addressing. Dame Martine Milburn is the former head of the Prince's Trust. So he started giving small amounts of grants to young people to help them to do something with their lives, and that blossomed into what is now the Prince's Trust. Blossomed into an $80 million program to date helping more than a million young people across almost two dozen countries realize their dreams, like 27-year-old entrepreneur Kyle Frank. I, mean, I don't think I would have even set the business up actually without the Princess Trust. Kyle developed a range of skincare products after suffering from acne as a teen. Charles spotlighted Kyle's brand while guest editing Britain's black newspaper, The Voice, last year and invited him to the palace. He said he was really, really proud of me. Um, he complimented my skin and the arts of Frank's remedies will do work for him as well, which was great. But it's not a place for handouts. If candidates aren't on their A game yet, they've got to prove their intent on getting there. Guy Garvey is not only living Tell proof, he's an ambassador. Because everybody's poor. It's a pleasure to be part of the thing because you do feel like part of the family. Once, once you've benefited from it, it's like, how can I help out the next guy? You mentioned part of the family. Yeah. Do you feel like you're part of the family? Yeah, well, the royal family. <laughs> no. The king himself might disagree. The young people who have benefited from the program are like family. And that is a royal success story in itself. Charlie Daggett, CBS News, London.